What's going on YouTube? My name is Nevin the Barber and in today's video we are going to be covering a hide fade haircut tutorial. So to get right into the video I have my number 4 guard on my wall 1919 anniversary seniors. Just knocking down all the hair at an even length. My client did want a pretty short buzz cut. And to put in our first guideline today, I'll be starting it at the point of reference, keeping it right beneath my client's parietal ridge. And I am using my gamma trimmers to put in this first guideline. As you guys can see, they're pretty sharp and consistent with the way that I'm using them. If any of you all would like to purchase these trimmers today, you can use my code NEVIN10 and I'll be sure to leave their website in the description. And whenever you guys put in your first guideline in a fade, it's very, very important that you make sure it's consistent all the way through. Just because this guideline right here is going to determine how the rest of your fade lays out. So you always want to go back and make sure that it's clean and consistent all the way through before you begin your next step. And right here in the back, I am taking it above my client's occipital bone just because this is a high fade. We're going to repeat the same exact steps on the other side. I'll be putting in my first guideline starting at my client's point of reference and that is where their hooks start at. Keeping it above the occipital bone in the back, you want this first guideline to be straight as possible. And right here I'm just going back ensuring that my line is straight as possible. Just because like I said, this first line is your foundation and the key to the haircut. And now that we have our first line put in, I'll begin using my gamma shavers. Going over it just to ensure it's all the way down to the skin. And whenever using the shaver, it's very important not to take it too high just so you give yourself enough space to flick out the skin line. And now to get right into the next step, I have my lever all the way open. This is gonna be cutting the hair at a 0.5 or a half length. And I am taking this first guideline about an inch thick. You wanna keep it consistent as possible. Same thing on the other side, you wanna keep it about an inch thick very consistent you want to keep consistent cutting strokes all the way through and to blend out that bottom line we're just going to begin doing some lever play opening and closing the lever as we need to and always remember that whenever you close the lever you have to shorten your cutting stroke and i do have these clippers zero gapped right here so it was pretty easy for me to knock out my bottom skin line back to my Andy's T outliners just to flick out my skin line and ensure that it blends into the 0.5 and whenever doing this step you want to make sure you keep it very low making sure that you don't take your cutting stroke too high And now we're going with the number one guard all the way open on my wall 1919 anniversary seniors. I'm taking this guideline about an inch thick above my previous guideline, keeping a consistent cutting stroke all the way through. And to knock out this guideline, I'm gonna go straight into the half guard all the way open on my wall seniors. As you guys can see, I'm flicking all the way to the top, doing lever play, closing the lever as I need to. I do have these clippers zero gapped, so it's pretty easy for me to knock out my lines. I have my lever all the way closed, just flicking out at any dark areas I see at the bottom. And now we just have to blend our fade into the bulk of the hair. So I have my number three guard with the lever all the way open, cutting the hair at a three and a half length. It's very important to flick out above the parietal ridge. 
have my number two guard on, repeating the same concept, starting with the lever open and then closing it. Now we're going back to our number one, repeating some lever play, starting with the lever all the way open. Trying to blend my fade into the bulk of my client's hair, keeping it right above the parietal ridge. And I'm just using the corner of my blade to disperse out any dark areas that I see. And now that our fade is complete, I'm gonna get right into the lineup, applying some spritz holding spray. And then I'm just gonna begin blow drying it, freezing the hair into place. As always, I do like to start my lineup starting in the middle, just trying to establish the straightest line I can get from left to right. And I do have my modified P3 blade on these gamma trimmers, as you guys can see, I was able to put in my lineup pretty easily. And for the box, you want to keep it very natural, trying to create a 90 degree angle, simply tapping and pulling away from the hairline, repeating the same thing on the other side, just tapping and pulling away from where the natural line grows in at. And whenever I do my lineups, I always like to go back and brush down all the hairs after I go over it the first time, just to ensure that I can knock down any baby hair sticking out. And now I'm just gonna go back and detail the fade and get it as blurry as I possibly can. And one thing to remember when cutting hair is that the fade does happen from the zero to the one guard. So you guys wanna make sure that your lines are blended out as smoothly as possible from the zero to the one. And now I'm just putting in some details with my number one guard, doing some lever play, opening and closing the lever as I need to. Just trying to flick out and disperse out any dark areas that I see. I always like to go back down through my guards after I clear up the bulk just to ensure that my fade is blurry as possible. Right here I'm using my gamma trimmers just to flick out any last dark areas that I see in the bottom of my fade. And then I'm going to go back with my gamma shaver just to ensure that it's all the way down to the skin. And whenever doing this you guys want to make sure you don't take it too high. And again, like I said earlier, it's always very important to double check your lineup, ensuring that you knock down all those little baby hairs. And same thing with your skin line. You want to make sure you can get the skin line as blurry as possible. And that's about it for today's haircut tutorial. If you guys learned anything from this tutorial, I would appreciate any feedback. Please be sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Any other tutorials you guys would like to see please let me know in the comments and with that being said i appreciate you guys for tuning in today thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one i'm out